In this session, I hope that you'll gain an understanding of the blood tests used to diagnose and monitor people with hepatitis B. The hepatitis B virus is one that infects human liver cells. Serology blood tests are used to assess the impact of diseases on the human immune system. When a foreign protein is present in our blood, it is called an antigen. And the virus is made up of a number of proteins. These are surface antigens, envelope antigens, and core antigens. And in short, these are described as HB surface antigen, HBE antigen, and HB core antigen. The core antigen is not used in routine blood monitoring. From the perspective of the immune system, when the immune system is affected by foreign entities, it develops antibodies. And these antibodies are specific to the thing that they are fighting. So with, for hepatitis B, the antibodies that can be developed include the hepatitis B surface antibody, the hepatitis B E antibody, and the hepatitis core antibody. So how to interpret all these tests? It is useful to start with the hepatitis B surface antigen. If this is positive, it means that the virus is present. If it is negative, it means the virus is not present. Subsequent testing would usually include determining the status of the E antigen. Is it positive or negative? If the E antigen is positive, it means that the virus is present in a more active form. If the E antigen is negative, it means that the virus is in a less active form. Moving on to the antibody blood tests. It is useful to interpret these in the context of whether the virus is present or not. So starting with the surface antibody. If the surface antibody is positive and the surface antigen is negative, then it means that the virus is not present and the person is immune to the hepatitis B infection. Sometimes a numerical value or a theta may be given for the surface antibody and this can be used to interpret degree of immunity to hepatitis B. If the surface antibody is negative and the surface antigen is negative, it means the virus is not present and the person is not immune or protected against future infection. The core antibody. If the core antibody is positive, it means that the person has at some point currently or past been infected with the hepatitis B virus. If it's negative, the person has not previously been exposed to the virus. There are a number of different common scenarios of the pattern that these antigen and antibody tests can be positive or negative. This slide demonstrates a number of the common patterns. Further information about the different patterns of the blood tests and how they can commonly be seen are available on our website. So with your individual patient, when you are wondering whether they have hepatitis B, you should request hepatitis B serology blood tests. On the lab form, you should indicate that the person has a risk for infection so that the lab processes the blood tests without delay. The lab will usually perform the hepatitis B surface antigen and a hepatitis B surface antibody in the first instance. If the surface antigen is positive, it means your patient has hepatitis B and I would recommend you refer them to the Hepatitis Foundation for monitoring and education. Further information about this is explained in one of our subsequent series. Once you've determined that your patient has hepatitis B, a surface antigen positive, then a number of other tests need to be done to determine the state of the disease activity and whether there's been any impact on their liver. A hepatitis B viral load, or HBV DNA, should be done. This is a quantitative test which gives a measure of how high the virus is and how much virus is present. Secondly, the E antigen status can be determined, again to tell us whether the virus in an, is in a highly active or less active state. The liver blood test should also be checked and this will determine whether there's any active inflammation occurring in the liver. A fibro scan is a test which is used to assess for any damage present in the liver. This is a non-invasive ultrasound type scan and this will be further discussed in a subsequent session. LFTs or liver function tests. These are a common set of blood tests performed in primary care and the Hepatitis Foundation monitors these six monthly with our patients. The LFTs include a number of parameters, specifically the ALT, AST, GGT, ALP, 
bilirubin and albumin. To determine the disease activity of hepatitis B, we are mainly interested in the levels of the ALT and the AST. The ALT in a normal person who is healthy should be less than 40. It is not uncommon to find the ALT slightly elevated in people with hepatitis B. It could be just between 40 and 80, which is one to two times the upper limit of normal. Moderate disease activity can also be seen if the ALT is between two and five times the upper limit of normal, which would be a level fluctuating around 80 to 200. If the ALT is more significantly elevated, greater than five or 10 times the upper limit of normal, a level of greater than 400, then it may be appropriate to liaise more urgently with your gastroenterology or infectious diseases services. In that situation, it would also be important to note whether there was any impairment in liver function, and this would be seen if the bilirubin was elevated, the albumin was low, or the INR was elevated. So in summary, hepatitis B serology blood tests take a little bit of practice to interpret, but are important when providing care to your patients with hepatitis B. The first point to look at is the surface antigen to determine whether your patient has hepatitis B or not, and then subsequent serology tests to determine whether they are immune or how active their disease is. For further questions, please see the hepatitis B website and further sessions in this series for management advice for hepatitis B.